Hi and welcome to my quaint cottage. Today we're going to be talking about the curriculum that we've chosen for 8th grade. If homeschool curriculum is something that you're really interested in, please make sure to subscribe so that you can get notified of the upcoming curriculum reviews and flip throughs that I'm going to be doing in the next couple of weeks. I did post a fourth grade curriculum choices on my channel, so I will have that linked below. For today's video, I'm not going to go in the order of how we do our homeschool day like I did with my fourth grade. I'm just simply going to grab a subject and tell you about it. Just whatever's in front of me first. And the first thing is my absolute favorite grammar. This is Climbing to Get English. This is the workbook. And this is the teacher's manual. So you'll be able to tell with this teacher's manual that it's for 7th and 8th grade. I believe when I purchased this it was $35. We did teach 7th and 8th grade at the same time with two different students last year and this worked wonderfully. I love this curriculum. It makes everything just laid out smoothly. Now my 8th grader is moving on to 9th grade. My 7th grader is moving up to 8th grade. I don't have to purchase a new teacher's manual for this. The only thing that I needed to get was a new workbook. These workbooks I think are about eight, maybe five to seven dollars. There's 286 pages in here and it is by School Aid. I really like this curriculum for grammar. This grammar curriculum also includes composition, so you don't have to have a separate composition. It goes over letter writing and all sorts of other things as well. Um, but having said that, I do actually do a separate composition. And that puts us right into our next class, which is classical composition. I love this composition curriculum. I have already done a video on this. I will link it below just like I've done a video on the grammar that I love. I will link that below as well. So this classical composition, I think this is the third in the series. This is from Memoria Press. The first one is the fable stage and then is the narrative stage and this one is the Sharia and Maxim stage. It comes with the teacher's guide and the student book. You can also get a DVD of the teacher presenting the work if you don't feel confident in teaching this curriculum yourself. And I actually did that for the first year that we did this series because when I looked through the curriculum, I had no idea what they were talking about. So I really needed somebody else to teach it. So when we did the fable stage, I actually learned along with the children what this curriculum was all about. And then I didn't need the teacher DVD for the narrative stage. And I'm not using it for this year either. Um, I will do another video on this. I've already looked through it. I already know exactly how we're going to use it this year. So I will be doing another video on this particular level of this uh, composition. And up next is reading comprehension. This is the eighth grade. This is the last grouping in this series. This is called Our Heritage. I purchased this book last year for my eighth grader and I also purchased this teacher's manual last year. So this year I only had to purchase the consumable workbook which was like two dollars and fifty cents, maybe three dollars. I really love this curriculum. It's by Pathway Readers. This is an Amish curriculum, I believe. So all of the material is about um, morality. Some of it's about history. For fourth grade, it's about animals. So as we go, we have really enjoyed these. My kids like them. I like them. And they are challenging enough that your child really builds in their comprehension and understanding of literature, but it is easy enough that they can do it as independent work. And this vocabulary, also from Pathway Publishers, goes hand in hand with the reading comprehension. So a lot of the new words that they're doing in their reading comprehension, they're going to be introduced to in their vocabulary workbooks. So again, last year, 
I purchased this teacher's manual for my eighth grader last year. This year, I only had to purchase the student workbook. Again, it's like two, three dollars. Up next, I'm going to share with you something that I don't generally do with my older children. By the time my children are older, we don't have a sit down, this is penmanship workbook. I do do that with my younger child. And uh, I decided this year that my older child could stand to use some penmanship practice. He, I don't know if it's a boy thing, if it's an age thing, but he just insists on writing as small as he possibly can. Nobody but him can read it. <laughs> so, and I keep telling him, write bigger. I have to be able to read your work in order to correct it. And it's just such a struggle for him. So I went ahead and got him this pen time eight cursive book. Up next, I'm gonna share with you one of our old time favorites. I did share this also in our fourth grade curriculum choices for this year. These are Christian character. This is what we're going to be doing for Bible. We have been doing these books for the past couple years. We do not use them as consumables. We just use them as a workbook for discussion. It's full of scripture for our Bible study and we really enjoy it. We do make flashcards to go along with the verses in here and then we can use those flashcards to make posters or stick in a card folder. And that makes it really easy to review what our Christian character should be. Up next is our Latin curriculum. This is Latina Christiana. It is also from Memoria Press. This is more pricey. This is not a inexpensive curriculum. Um, it does come with the teacher's manual and the student guide. You can also get the uh, a teacher DVD and a practice CD. I do have those, just not in front of me right now. Um, my children do use those because I don't know Latin. We use this curriculum as a supplement to our grammar, although our grammar does not need any more supplements. But I believe that teaching Latin is very important. It really puts a great emphasis on um, conjugation of verbs and that your tenses have to match. And if you're going to learn any foreign language, uh, it's a good starter language to learn. It's also really good because it's a basis of so many English words. Up next is one of my all-time favorite classes and that's science this year. We are doing Christian Kids Explore Earth and Space. I haven't even taken it out of the plastic yet. I'll be doing more of an in-depth review and flip through on this because it's been requested, but also just because I love this curriculum so much, I'm sure it is not going to disappoint me at all. We've already done the physics, we've already done the chemistry in this series. So this is the last one in the series, I believe. If not, my fourth grader is gonna continue and do the other ones in the series. Um, but my eighth grader, of course, is gonna be going into ninth grade, and so he'll have to do a high school curriculum next year that has you know, a, a more intense lab that's actually accredited for high school. But for middle school and upper elementary, this is a great science series. Okay, let's talk about history. History is so exciting and so much fun, and I love the way that the mystery of history presents history. It takes secular history and religious history and puts it all on the same timeline. We started this curriculum several years ago with volume one. This year we are doing volume four, and this is all about War of Independence to Modern Times. So this starts with the American War of Independence from England and will go, I believe the last president it touches on is Bush, but I'm not sure. So as we get through it, I will definitely do a review of this particular book in the series. We always have a great time with this. I believe that you can get a CD that goes along with this, but if you have good internet, it does have a link where you can actually download all of your printables, your questionnaires, your tests, and everything. So I'm gonna have to go online and print everything off, which I'm not thrilled about. We use this for history, geography, and social studies. 
and we do use this as combined classes. All age groups can study the same history at the same time. We're going to do art next, and after that I just have two more curriculums that I'm going to share with you. So this is called Complete a Sketch, and it is the advanced version. Last year I got my son the Complete a Sketch 1, 2, 3, and it was supposed to be used for a couple of years because he absolutely hates art, but I wanted him to do something. He's very analytical. And I thought that drafting might be something that interested him as he got older. Well, apparently I was on the right track uh, because that uh, completed sketch one, two, three that he did last year, he actually finished the entire curriculum last year with lots of time to spare. He was only supposed to do one assignment a week, basically finish one drawing a week, and he finished one drawing a day. He didn't ask me. I didn't have to tell him. He was just that motivated to do the assignments that he got them out and did them, did them himself. So I had no choice but, of course, to get the next level up, and this is the Advanced Complete a Sketch, and those pictures on the, on the front, I don't know if you can see that. The, that is what he is going to be drawing this year. And it's kind of like connect the dots, but not quite. Up next, we're going with another one of my all-time favorite classes, and that is math. And this year, we are using this curriculum. This is a thumb drive. It is from Switched On Schoolhouse. This is uh, pre-algebra for seventh grade. Now, this year we're trying Switched On Schoolhouse because I really, really just needed something that was going to grade the papers for me. Although I love teaching math and my children really absorb math well, I just really struggle to find the time to grade all of these math papers for multiple children every single day. So I just really needed a program that could correct the problem for me as the child goes. So, and up next, the last curriculum I'm going to share with you today, and this is our Health and Manners curriculum. It is called Myself and Others. It is again from Amoria Press. Now I chose this particular curriculum because I watched another YouTube homeschool mom and I will put that link below. She did a flip through of this curriculum and I thought it was a great idea. So this particular curriculum comes with this workbook and then you get a Emily Post Guide to Good Manners for Kids. Don't know if you can see that, it's a bit bright. There you go. And then there are two small storybooks, The Cabin Faced West and The Sign of the Beaver. That is all that I have for you today. Thank you so much for sticking in there with me. I hope you have a blessed homeschool day and see you later. Bye-bye.